another thing, um, I just sort of sculpted this uh, as I liked, um, just made it up as I went along. Another way you could do this is um, bring in a reference image. So I could, um, the way to do this, there's a number of different ways you can project it from the camera. I always forget how to do that, I'm lazy, so I just go create um, a plane and then I rotate it, um, I need to rotate it on the Z, negative 90. Um, oops, hang on, I want Z to be 4, yeah, that's fine. Um, move that back, scale that up. And I'm going to put a picture onto this plane to use as a reference image for my sculpting. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the plane and go into the material attributes here. Material attributes. Um, let me just do that again. And it should give me the material data here. So if you couldn't, if you can't find it, if it doesn't show up straight away, it's in the attribute editor. It should be in Lambert 1 is the default material. We're going to change the color information of this material to be a file. I'm going to click File. I'm going to go to the image name here and find my tutorial project. And I've found a side view of a dog on Google Images. I'm going to open that up. Um, has it done anything? Oh, it's frozen. I think. What's going on? We are frozen. It's crashed. No. No, we're good. Um, we can't see it yet because we're stuff still in the uh, shaded view. We need to go six for texture. So that's pressing six on the keyboard. Um, and I need to rotate that along the y-axis 90 degrees. Okay, so there's a dog and you just do the same thing except so you create a cube oh, now that's got the dog on it, we need to give it a new material by right clicking on it assign new material I'm just going to pick Lambert and now it's just a grey box again and you go back into the to the same workflow that we did for the last video. Inputs, polycube, give it some subdivisions. We're going to cut it in half. Just make sure that's slid properly. Delete that. Um, and then do your duplicate special. Edit duplicate special. Got a negative one. Yep. Um, and remember and you will, people will make this mistake that this is facing forwards on the z-axis. Z-axis is pointing that way. Uh, and instead of um, sort of just free forming it, which I might just extend that because it's a bit more correct that way, you start, you can use the spacebar to go into your side view except we, we just need to turn on the textured view in the side view by pressing 6 as well and you can actually start uh, because they're separate objects we just need to move these together you can go back into the perspective view select both, hit space bar and come back into this one and just start to set those up um, ready to sculpt um, and I'm going to select these faces kind of move them over what I'm going to do here is oops just the problem is you're going to have to go between this what we call an orthogonal view and the other view quite a lot because you need to make sure that you're moving all of these edges here not just one um, and I'm giving this whole 
uh, set of faces here about the width of one leg because I want to extrude the leg down. See, you could even set up a curve here and, and follow the curve or you could just do it manually. So now I'm going to go into uh, the face select. I'm going to control E to extrude. Oops, I've got to change my edit mesh extrude settings. I'm going to do one at a time. No curve. And control E. Just g actually just give myself a whole bunch to work with. And then go back into here. Um, and start to kind of set these up. Oops. Face. And just start to sort of mold them <laughs> to the shape of the leg. Um, and they're not looking very good at the moment. Hang on. Oops. The only problem with using the image on the plane behind it is that um, you accidentally select it, of course. Now, see what's happening here? I'm not. I need to use um, both. I need to select both when making any change. Anyway, you see where I'm going with this. Just a process of slowly, slowly manipulating everything until it looks like a decent approximation of what you're trying to get. Now another thing you can do is, um, at the moment I think we've got Okay, sorry, I had an error um, that I had to look up um, that has to do with the graphics card and I had to reset a whole bunch of stuff. That is very normal when using Maya. It often has random errors that you have to kind of Google and fix. What happened was my perspective view went all grey and I couldn't get my object back on screen even if I pressed F. I had to go and uh, manually change the transform of the camera, the like the viewport camera, to fix that. So anyway, I'm back. Um, actually, for the moment, I'm going to delete that object there. We don't actually need it. We can just work on this one object here um, when doing our modeling. It just makes it a little bit easier when working with these. We probably don't even need the middle ring either, but I'm just going to keep it anyway. Um, I'm going to do the front leg. Um, yeah, just double click to the edge loop and just extrude these legs down. Control E to 
next raid. Oops. Control A. Sometimes it, it pulls in the opposite direction. And basically do the same thing that I did to the back leg, to the front leg. Ah! I didn't need both of those. Undo. Just the one. Just check that it's not extruded yet. Oh, it is. Good. Alright. One. Two. Five and then just do the same thing. Make things nice and skinny. If you want to have a foot, you could extrude the foot. Ah, you see that because this face is on an angle. It's now extruding on an angle. To fix that, see this little blue widget? Just click that and it will change it back to world coordinates. It's a, it's a bit less um, dainty than the one behind it, but that's because I'm using low polygons and I'm rushing a bit for the purposes of just the tutorial. Um, but now I'm going to pull out a head. I'm going to pull it out of this one, I reckon. Ah, it's fiddly. I could have pulled it out of that one, maybe. Um, yes. And this time I am going to use this diagonal um, option. I think, I think they are too fat and I'm going to squeeze them in. Anyway, um, I'm not going to finish this one off. You're just going to follow the same process as you did, excuse me, for the last video and finish it off in the same way. But that's just kind of an idea of using a reference image and using this um, side view, orthogonal side view to help you model. I can see that that's off now. Okay. Um, next video will